Serotonin itself wasn't officially discovered until 1935 when an Italian researcher named Vittorio Esparmer isolated a monoamine compound from enterochromaffin cells, which caused the intestinal walls to contract. He named this compound enteramine. Thirteen years later, researchers at the Cleveland Clinic discovered an amine in blood serum that appeared to act as a vasoconstricting agent. They named it serotonin. In 1952, scientists finally realized that enteramine and serotonin were the exact same chemical. In that year, MAOIs, or monoamine oxidase inhibitors, were introduced by drug companies into the marketplace alongside the monoamine theory of depression in an attempt to artificially raise circulating levels of monoamines like serotonin in the body. 90% of serotonin is produced in the gut, contrary to popular assumption that it's all in the brain. Your gut is called your second brain, the enteric nervous system, for a reason. It contains roughly 500 million neurons. Your gut-based enteric nervous system communicates neuronally with your brain via the spinal cord, and bacterially via the production of certain gases to catalyze reactions and cascades within the body. Messing with gut function, especially neuronally, is risky business. Curiously timed alongside the war on drugs, the development of these serotonin amplifying pharmaceuticals built unstoppable momentum in the public relations sector, and they were embraced by government regulators as the antidote to mind-opening drugs like LSD and psilocybin, the anti-serotonin agents, which had already been proven too unwieldy for them to control. 